Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are sowing the last crop, the very last bit tail to go in and it is getting on so it is a positive 19th of May so yeah it's been late time, but we are sowing our uncovered maize so I'm just in the loading shovel I'm going to head up there's a lot of big stones in the field while we get them picked because we have a pottinger drill again on demo slightly different we'll show you that later on they're just in the yard pottinger's in the yard they're just getting it set up in the tractor so I'm going to pick a lot of stones for the first go bring me back and also today's video is sponsored by gold crop they have supplied us with the varieties of seed that we're going to sow with three varieties going in Foxtrot Ambition and Saxon or Saxony is Saxon and uh, we'll talk a bit more about them later on but yeah we're going to see how it goes uncovered maize it's been a long time since we sowed uncovered maize the last couple of years have been quite good for uncovered maize nice warm dry summers but you'd never really know when you're planting out what you're going to get but we'll have to just wait and see but anyways we're baiting up the road pick a lock of stones till Father Phil picks me up Good bit hon So here we are now. Got a lot of rain yesterday, so it could be could be tacky enough, but we're going straight into plow ground, so it should be a little bit drier than if we hard it. So a lot of big sticks here I might see can I scoop them up. Without getting this brow here going across that way back to the pole there's a lot of big stones just like this boy out here yeah that's a fair bit of a stone you're not just going to pick that up in a hurry so yeah I'll put in time lapse and we get a lot of these stones picked we're still bringing the stone fork on the 6499 just in case I didn't get them all, we'll have be able to pick them as we meet them, but we'll go across the brow here and we'll pick all we can find. Back in the yard now, drill is on, we have it all calibrated, set up, ready to go. Um, so yeah, now we we'll just fill it with seed and fertilizer. We'll be heading up to the field then, hopefully it's dry enough. Anyways, so before, while we wait for Featherfield to get the seed, we're here with Paul from Pottinger and he's going to explain the drill because the drill is a combi, it'll sow maize and it'll sow cereals. Absolutely. Or anything yeah. really. Anything or a combination of both. That's that's really what makes it unique. Yeah. The fact that it can do the combination. Because we can cultivate at the same time. Yeah. So we have the we have the one pass. So us anyone sowing cereals, you know, barley, whatever, rape in the normal way, he can cultivate, sow his uh, traditional grains and then when he's done that this will sow maize in a precision way. Yeah. With very little uh, adaption. Yeah. Really. That's it in a, in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Yeah. Bag of fertilizer put yeah. in. And it's a good time to see the split tank when yeah. you do that. So you can see basically the sides fall up when they're going to sow uh, maize or, or yeah. And you can see here now it reveals the maize distribution units. When we're not using them, these sides just fall down and it's a normal drill. Yeah. So now this allows us to use this compartment for a companion. Yeah. Today it's going to be fertilizer. It could be maybe grass seeds, yeah, or whatever, yeah, clover, clover or things or like that. Or absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we'll just navigate him in now. We'll be doing all right. It's a small telly for her. Yeah, keep coming. We can choose 
on what holders we want this to go. Yeah. So for example now we're going to put it down with the maize and beside it. Yeah. But we're going to leave the coulters in between the maize rows because it's a waste. The roots will never get out. Yeah. So we'll keep the fert close to the seed now. So you can select which ones you want to Absolutely. show on and show on. Yeah. Yeah. For this. For this. Yeah. So a lot of people maybe on the continent will put grass between the maize. Yeah. It stops leaching I say of, of soil rather than big open spaces, spaces between, between and then when it comes to harvesting you have a more firmer so you have you have something to drive on Absolutely. you have a fork to drive yeah. on. Can't see us doing that in Ireland really but no. You don't want to be wasting any of this no. stuff no, not this year. <laughs> the price no. of it. Yeah. No. That's it, 18612. And we're putting that in at two bags to the acre, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it's set so up at. Yeah, exactly. So then it's dropping that down we're through the... To, I think we come down here, because not only that, we have a couple of options with this machine. So generally in Ireland, we work on a 75 centimeter row spacing. Yeah. So that would mean four rows of maize behind this machine. Yeah. This has another feature above that, which is an option that we're using two coulters to do one row of maize. Right. So what that means we're forming a stagger. So we'll put one here, the next one there, the oh, next so one it's, there. Oh, it's, so it's one row, but it's the seeds are being this side, that side, this side, that exactly. side as it goes along. Exactly. It, it has a huge benefit for the plant. It gives it more room, more sunlight. Uh, it's it's proven to be a benefit. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's, so this we call the duplex. So don't get a fright when it's coming up that you're seeing one row and the other. It's yeah, it's not on straight lines, it's well, going zigzagged yeah, across yeah. the field. And yeah. then we'll have 75 centimeters free and then the next two coulters are doing the same thing. Yeah. And then within that then we're going to put fert, and this is, some people might disagree, whatever, but we've, we're doing it today. We're going to put fert down with it Yeah. and the coulter left and right of it so there'll be four coulters doing the fertilizer yeah so it'll get that instant kick and it gets some to grow out to yeah and in our it, it people talk about scorching we've never seen it so but some people will say but well, we've never seen it and then in the middle we have nothing coming yeah so we'll waste nothing and other than that if you're not doing that all those coulters work sowing corn yeah it's not usual for a maize drill to have cultivation so yeah. we're able to do maize in one pass normally you'd have to go out cultivate get it ready and then just go with your maize yeah, drill and that's what we'll be doing now is is straight into one pass and plowed yeah. ground yeah so it has that benefit as yeah. well the or the first drill yeah. we had didn't have the the P, is PCS, pcs isn't it precision, Preci combi seeding. precision combi seeding so we get seeds that's what we have to oh, do yeah. next we have to get the seed it's not going to work well without no. seed. The varieties we are sowing today, we have Foxtrot, Ambition and Saxon. Foxtrot we put in under the plastic as well. It's a dual variety. I bring out my information on my phone so I get this right. Yeah, so Foxtrot is promising new variety with uh, high starch, high yields in the trials to date. Uh, has worked well under plastic and in open. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Ambition then has been used since 2014. Grown and opened the last eight years, largest variety for uncovered, popular and reliable. So the Ambition is, is the, the standard. And then Saxon is the promising new variety with similar yield to Ambition, but slightly earlier. So they're the three varieties we're going in. So if you want to learn more about the varieties of maize that Gold Crab have an offer, offer or these varieties, there'll be a link in the description down below. I know it's a bit late for anyone who's looking at doing it for this year, but you'll get ahead of the party for next year. So big thanks to Gold Crab for supplying us with the seed. And is the last of the seed to go in. So we'll get these loaded up. We're going to sow the field in one variety, next variety, and other variety, so that we can see how the three varieties do, compare them to each other, compare them to how the plastic maze, or the covered maze is done, and also, uh, I think Gorecrop want to take samples as we cut the field to see how they're done, and it'll be interesting now to see. So anyways, we get these seed with five acres to go, so that's enough. There's probably lots in that. Um, and we're sowing it at 44,000 seeds to the acre. So anyways, we'll get these loaded up into the drill and yeah, we'll be ahead. So we're just trying to work it out there to get it right. So 
saw a bag each and then put in and then saw the headlands makes the train out of the tree right he's in the middle of the field also the machine counts the seeds doesn't it yes and it's so all we'll do is we'll put in how many seeds to the hectare yeah and then here is uh, an optical lens so basically it just reads the seed as it goes by yeah if it feels that it's not putting out enough it just speeds up a bit yeah uh, another way you can calculate the rate is the spacing some people like just they go by the spacing so let it be 12 centimeters between the seeds or 10 yeah or more so there's kind of two yeah, ways you have two ways of doing it but we don't do any calibrating all we do is put the seeds well, in and then she does all the rest yeah she reads them going by nice benefit too so we have a low level sensor here yeah but if the seed stops coming it's or there's a blockage it away. notifies you yeah we're just trying to figure out how much to put in to be able to sow the middle of the field in the tree varieties every bag will do a bit more than an acre that's right you're only going to throw about four and a half bags yeah it should yeah yeah i suppose that is right yeah so four and a half bags oh it's cool lad it's all cool yeah it's just trying to get it right. It's going to take a minute. That's all. Well, we're ordering now, we're ready to go. Per acre? Uh, 44,000 seeds per acre. 108,680. Right. So I'll show yeah. you. So we just add that in now. We go to our set menu, our seed library, our PCS, and here we put it in. So, what do we say? 108680. Uh, 108680. Okay. 24 and a half centimeter spacings. Yeah, and that's in each row. Yeah. So, if you half that, it's our actual, so it's around 12 centimeter, say, because that's but in the between the between the zigzags is yes it? exactly so that, that that's 24 centimeters between this one and the next one that comes out of that quarter but there's e one in between e that exactly. and the next one exactly and we just want to go in to our fertilizer and we want to put in our rate and he said two bags two bags which is 247 yeah yeah so two for seven kilos to the hectare yeah now here's our fertilizer rate. Yeah. Then when we're sowing, this will be the line. These bar graphs will come up. If the bar graph comes a little bit below the 24 centimeters, it's a little bit slow. Yeah. If it goes above, it means they're getting close together. But she'll try to get this line. So when you speed up a bit, she'll react. And you'll see as we're working, this will light up blue. If we have a blockage in any of them, it'll tell you. It'll go red. So, yeah. so that, that's it then, we're that's ready it. to go. We're ready for the field, yeah. So, we're up in the field now. So, yeah, don't look at the plowing. Maybe I'm not great hard, but um, yeah, you can see yourself, it is a bit sticky. Got all rain yesterday. Hopefully, it comes up right. So, we're basically ready to go. Get myself lined up. I think I'll start this side and work my way that way. And yeah, Father Phil's gonna pick a few stones and when he gets the can shook and we'll be happy out happy out so the first few runs done hit a few stones just a few so that could be the biggest problem here but we're going now on the office here going away everything's working there you can see the black line is the, the space we want and the blue line is showing how the seeds are dropping at the minute seems to be going fine father Phil's going to be going along with us as we go along the field to make sure we get we get them all and um, doing a lovely job just taking our time now because there's stones some can be seen and some are unseen so just take our time and we'll eventually get through it but yeah doing a real nice job yeah fox shot the last okay so just down to run out we've uh Maybe about a third of the field across done, so it's going to change by the next day. So we'll put it back. Ooh. 
probably by the end of the drill we should have run out of the ambition and we'll be on to the sacks and then coming back up. And keep on. seed so roughly speaking where we are now to there past the pole this is the fox truck it'll be interesting to see how the tree turns to the field we saw the headlands and fox trot then as well and that's kind of it then so we'll just power through it because it's starting to get a bit in there and i'd say there may not be rain too far away so there's not though. Really want to get this finished before there's any rain. Because I don't know when we'll get back to it or not. But anyways, we keep moseying on. So we're just going for the last headland now. The field sold eventually. And we have Saxon in to finish off this headland over here. And that's it, yeah. I know I, I finished up that side and I didn't have a run to go across, so no point harrowing and disturbing the nice zigzag of seeds that have put in so um you know we get across here and uh, we get this finished now one last headland to go and now that is the field so so closer up see what's left i don't think it's very uh just empty Fertilizer, just gone. Two spouts gone. That's what you call boho finish. Literally, there's not, there's not a jug full of seed left in that. So one bag over there, which is happy days. So, anyways, we will be it on home, and we will talk about the drill tomorrow and that. But yeah, so we have. Ambition, the far end, the middle is Saxon, and then this end of the field is Foxtrot, and then this headland is Saxon. So that's what's gone in. So it'll be interesting to see how the tree varieties do. It'll be interesting to see, especially the Foxtrot, how it looks compared between the covered and uncovered. So, yeah. Happy out. All good? Yeah. 100%. Happy out. Happy out. Good. It's done. Great machine. It's done. Great machine. Tractor does look good though. Look, it looks well on the back of it. Right. Good day, hon. So, it's the next day. We're back in the shed, back in the yard. May's all finished. So, how did the drill go? It's a good question. As you can probably tell, there wasn't many other shots and there was no drone foot. We had one issue repeatedly and it wasn't the machine's fault it wasn't anyone's fault as the weather the, the ground was too sticky and we were having issues where the maze comes out of the drill so each one of these so where you can see that extra wheel there's an extra bracket in that that's on the inside of the disc and it was sticking just sticking with clay and it was we did make a couple of adjustments and some of the adjustments really did help and we got to the point where we might block, stick one there and stick one there. It was maize was still coming out, the fertilizer was coming out, but the disc wasn't going round because the clay was just getting stuck inside the disc. None of the other discs, so any of the discs, like all them middle discs there, 
perfect, never stuck. It was only the ones with that extra bracket, that extra bracket for letting out the maze stuck. It was no one's fault, it was just the weather. And as you can see, pissed rain all night and the weather is shocking broken. We had to get in that day, so otherwise, by the time we get the next dry weather, it could be June, and by then it's a bit late for sowing maize. So it was really a last ditch to get it in. That was the only thing. This is the only issue the drill gave us. It done a lovely, tasty job. It is like Father Phil's not here. If I get him before the drill goes back, I'll get him to just say. Very, very impressed with how the system actually works. Um, like it's a great combination. Like it's a great in, in theory. Like it's a great job. The original Pottinger's original plan was to send us. I know we had the other drill and we used that and that went absolutely flying it the crop of stuff to come up father phil is just so impressed with him and he, he yeah he's just in love with that machine but their original plan was to send us a machine that would do both but just the way things are with supply and demos and that they couldn't so this is a farmer owned machine that we got the use of to sow our five acres so um yeah they also this is a 24 coulter machine whereas the last one we had was 20 maybe that might have made a difference so some of the real wet parts it started to stick in between the coulters with less coulters that probably wouldn't have happened but that was the only thing we could fault the machine on and we did have to clear it quite a lot of times it did take quite a while to do it but as i said that was the crown it was just too sticky it was just too sticky and there was nothing we could do about it we had to get it in but the way the machine works like very impressed it is actually like okay the one thing the power hour power hour done a lovely job is a power hour suitable for us not really some ground we can work at most ground we can't that field we were in we slipped the clutch quite a lot of times and we had to take quite a lot of stones out you seen the stones we took out it maybe wasn't that suitable for power hour run. you seen the field that i done with the, the fj dynamics and the austere and, and that with all the stones that you couldn't go and look in the field with a power hour it had just break before you got into the field but you wouldn't be maybe that keen on a power just because it doesn't suit all our land but the drill a drill like that with the that option of x with the precision sewing i can see a big future in that here um the way meal and everything is going i can see in the future a lot more farmers starting to think more about growing crops to feed their cattle and i think a drill like that would be a fantastic drill for that i think i'm hoping the uncovered maze goes very well because if it goes well i think it's a great way to go it really does reduce the cost of growing the crop and our weather year on year has been getting better i know it's not great at the minute but year on year it seems to have been getting better climate change or not you can answer that in the comments down below but um no i can see a future in a drill like that and it is that it is something now you we'd be We'd be half thinking about in the future something like that the way it's done and everything and even not just for the maze we could so like they were saying that uh, on the continent they put down grass in between the maze like just stuff like that like you could put in be be uh, peas and barley and have a really nice even distribution of a crop like i see great potential in it, and uh, that part of it is something that i think in the future you may see in the farm i i'm well impressed i know we did have our issues but that was just down to the ground and it may be different if it was a 20 quarter machine rather than 24 quarter and maybe make a difference may not but i see a big future in that and uh, it would be something i would be very very tempted to get in the future not anytime soon because we just funds aren't that great but yeah i i think it's some but it's what can you put in front of it instead of a power horror I would like to see what it was like with the they do a disc option and i was hoping we get to see how that works or, or get to use one of them but we just didn't that's the pot hundred drill it's going back either today or tomorrow and um, i just have to take out where we're going to clean out the shed now and there's one calf has broke back into the shed they always they always want to get back in where you can't really blame them it's a bit wet and miserable but they do have a clump of trees out there to stand under but um yeah so then for anyone who's interested in learning more about the Pottinger range of equipment, there'll be a link in the description down below to their website and have a look there or find your nearest dealer. Uh, on the maize seed, we have one bag of Foxtrot over. So 
we'll send that back to Goldcrop. But big thanks to Goldcrop for sponsoring today's video and working with us and seeing how the different varieties are going to perform. And it's going to be very, especially with the Foxtrot, we have it under plastic and uncovered. How will they perform? How will they do? I'll pop it into my Send Crop app there now and it'll keep an eye on when we think it's going to reach the right stage for harvesting. There's 20 days, I think, between the two crops or 18 days between the covered being sown and the uncovered or maybe more even. No, it's actually more. Be heading for 30 days nearly, actually. But uh, will, will we be able to cut the crops at the same time? Will we have to cut one cover and uncover and cut again? It's going to be interesting. It's watch this bit i'm very interested to see how it does but anyways we're going to leave it at that for today's video hope you enjoyed it as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me good luck <laughs>